But this is important yeah. breaking news. Check this out. Vice Media nears deal for $400 million sale out of bankruptcy. Soros. Fortress Investment and Soros Fund Management. Come on. Here's the, here's the, here's the funniest <laughs> thing about this, right? It's the, the deal gives them a valuation around $400 million, a major drop from $5.7 billion. Here's the other thing, though. The valuation includes the existing debt that it has. How much? The debt, I believe, there was a $250 million debt financing round a few years ago and then a $30 million. I'm not exactly sure how they're, how they're doing it. The $250 million in debt was from Soros. I think that was Soros uh, fund management as well. So it may be that Soros is actually just buying the company for, what would, what would that give him, $120 million? No, 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 $220 million from a company that was once once worth $5.7 oh, billion. So of the $400 million they're paying out, two hundred twenty of it was debt? So Soros already has $250 million in debt with Vice. Mm -hmm. So if the deal is for $400 million, which includes the debt, I could be wrong about this. Maybe people in the chat could, could, could clarify, someone who knows how the economics works of it. But it sounds like Soros already holds a portion of that $400 million, unless the deal is to buy out the rest of it, but then he holds the debt. So I think this multi-billion dollar company is being washed out for... A couple hundred million. The okay. whole clickbait apparatus is dying. People yeah. are sick of it. Buzzfeed's but, gone, and it's only being upheld by political actors like. But this. It, but Vice wasn't that in the beginning. But it Vice is now. Got, Vice got big because they were like, "We're gonna go down and we're gonna hunt down Scopolamine and yeah, Columbia. dude. That we're gonna we're gonna go find the, the magic yeah, shaman good. who's gonna do crazy like ayahuasca." And then it turned into ten reasons SpongeBob's homophobic. What happened? Do you remember how? Do you know how it changed exactly? Was there a linchpin that? switched or was it just a so, slow burn tim left i was told that was yeah that was left. it i was gone i was i, I was there mm -hmm. when they were doing the based so so actually vice news started because of me and that is the words of shane smith he said it at the knight foundation awards they were doing on the ground reporting but it was not there was no news division they were doing these like adventure style documentary shows where it's about the regular guy going to afghanistan and telling a story and then i i was like i want to do real news reporting what changed simply is in, from my perspective, I agree with this take, but this came from a friend of mine who is who is a high level employee. They got accused of sexual harassment and assault. And to get out of it, the investors were like, become a feminist company. That way you can get past the negative press. The concern was it like we're not going to go down and see our hundreds of millions of dollars in investment lost. So just come out, start doing feminist stuff and you'll be safe from these attacks. And they went, you got it. Talk about a fall from grace. Wow. If they went the route I explained in my vision, they would be worth still billions mm. of dollars. I told them to go the route that we are going here. Mm. Yeah, maybe they would be worth like 900 million or 1.3 billion, like a quarter of what they ended up at what they were at one point, but they'd still be around. I That's think, the but, point. But, but, but no, maybe, I don't believe any of what you guys are saying. You think I'm a think, liar? I think both of you. I think what happened was Tim told them. Tim saw what the future was, and he said, you know what you guys should do? You should pander to feminists and the left. The young people love it. You're going to get a lot of viewership. It's what the mainstream media is doing. Let's imitate the big guys. Because you wanted to leave and start your own thing, oh. and then you did. I went and worked for and Disney. And you neutered them, <laughs> you wanted a little more experience before you got out you oh, know, yeah. and, and did your own thing. And the same but thing happened. You, were, you played the long con. The same thing happened with Fusion, and it was hilarious. When I went to Fusion, which is ABC News Univision, they said, we want to be nice vice. We want to be young and edgy, but we don't want to do the weird stuff where they like crap in jugs and like throw it in the air or something like that. Because Vice did like weird stuff like that. And then I was like, cool. And they said, we want to do a show that's <laughs> very much travel adventure, meeting like drug dealers in Venezuela and, and covering those stories. And I'm like, perfect. Let's make it happen. And then eight months later, they brought in a new editor in chief who changed his Twitter banner to down with whiteness. And then I was like, oh, boy. And then You're I was like, just like, nice. I was like, here's what I, here's my plan for this November. I'm going to go to Fukushima on the anniversary and, or, or, you know, and, and see where they're at with the, like the re the redevelopment of the region. And then they were like, okay, that's cool. I guess it gets half a million views over the weekend. And then they're like, but we're still really interested in talking about trans kids, which gets like a thousand views. They were obsessed with chasing this stuff. Sure enough, a couple years later, they lay off everybody and they washed billions down the toilet. Did Shane leave the company at some point? No, he's still there. So he's getting this. He's not out. the CEO anymore. And they're saying they're going to find a role for him. But like this guy's just not worth anything anymore. I mean, look, look, don't get me wrong. The dude's probably worth, you know, I don't know what this puts puts him at. Maybe um, 
Shane that, Smith. Yeah, that'll put him at maybe eighty million, yeah. which is like, like, come on, that's not nothing. He's a rich guy, but to have been a billionaire, mm. like I, their media reporting, you're worth two billion or whatever, and now it's just like, eh, you know. I don't think they're complete idiots for marketing to the woke crowd. Like, I do think there is a large. I'm, I'm not on some copium where I think the majority of the population are conservatives. I've, I've, I'm from Canada, so I'm like, okay, there are actually a lot of woke people out there, but it's just very hard to sell wokeness through a corporation through these like they, they can see the even even the very silly kind of brainwashed people they're like okay this is clickbait this is a corporation that makes millions of dollars telling me about how we need to support trans impoverished individuals doing ketamine like they, they can see the absurdity itself it's can i don't know though? there there is there is a craving in general for more genuine i think that's why live streaming has become more a, a bigger thing in general even the left wing live streamers on twitch and stuff uh, people are just getting real tired of the highly curated, actual, um, full-on propaganda. It's just like the internet is just full-on MK Ultra. Yeah, man. All <laughs> corporations are not people, and when they say stuff like Disney says that something, no, no, Disney isn't a thing that can speak. Disney's just a facade, a piece, yeah. a p paper that you tear away to see who was it that said that. Yeah, like. If you want to make the argument that corporations are people, then I'd love to see some of these corporations go to prison. So when, so true. <laughs> so yes. Yeah, so when like a big pharmaceutical company, for instance, is accused of fraud, we don't simply go pay us a fine. We say we are going to incarcerate your corporation for five years, meaning it cannot operate. Mm. Everybody who works there, you no longer work there. Come back in five years and let's see where you're at. And they go, mm. well, we couldn't do that. It would be bad for the economy. Well, tell that to the guy who went to prison for five years. What's he supposed to do when he gets out? Sorry, I don't play that. If you got a corporation and there are people breaking the law within it and it's widespread mm. and the whole company does it, shut it down. Well, or even like I'm 30 percent death penalty in that case, too. Oh, like <laughs> the execution of the corporation <laughs> penalty itself. For the company. <laughs> Erasure of the machine. Yeah, I think that if yes. you sell a company, you guys should change the name. That's that's. I think unethical to call it something else when because a company it's is, branding, though. but it's the company is the people that are in the company. That is what it is. It's a company of people. And so if the people change, then it's a different company. So yeah, I, yeah, but I mean, look, I don't want the factor. I just want the name Callahan. It's then, premium. Then have it in parentheses behind the new name, at least. So you see the trail of like what it used to be, what Disney now is, but it's not Disney. Walt Disney's gone. That's going to make for very long domain names. <laughs> yeah. And, and the corporation owns a bunch of IP. So a brand, you're talking about branding, like a mm -hmm. rebrand if they want. It's like black just, water. They just reappear. Right. As something new every yeah, other yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just third, saying like name, I think. the idea that you could go to a, say a, a major pharmaceutical, like let's say there's a major pharmaceutical that was a accused of fraud and then found to be liable for oh. that fraud and were, were fined billions. I can't think of any billions of companies like that. I'm pretty sure it's all though. of them. I'm pretty sure every single one. Uh, like we just, it's a cost of doing business. So now you have these big pharmaceuticals being like, okay, how much money can we make off defrauding people? Two billion. What will we be fined by the government? One billion. Hot dog. We're going to make a million, a billion dollars. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. There needs to be a, a, a more serious penalty. Does, does anyone have the schizophrenic soap, Bonner's soap, where it's got like all oh, the yeah. text on it? I love the soap that soap. spies on you. Well, why is it schizo soap? No, it's it's got like so much text about like religion and God, and you just sit there and read it's it. It's the one the, true religion. The, 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 the Doctor Bonner, Bonner, Bronner's. Bronner's. Yeah. Anyways, all right, I think all right. that they should do that. Disagree. <laughs> disagree. <laughs> well, no, it's. Yeah, no, okay, I, I don't okay. even know what. Uh, the, I think it's Christian. We should talk about the true religion. I I I love Doctor Bronner. So, anyways, my point is they should have that on any sort of pharmaceutical companies bottle but it's like all of their lawsuits no and it's just yeah. listed all over it and that should be their punishment you have to list all it's of your sort of failed, like if, uh, if you buy a pack of cigarettes it has like a limp dick on it or something right like it, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like that right? show you especially for like, like black the, lung. the last decade of lawsuits or yeah something. how much and money they, they wash lost. off after time yeah <laughs> you know what you know what i think would actually be even better than that for political campaigns at the end of a political ad in the same way that pharmaceutical ads have to list side effects they have to list every scandal that politician is involved in <laughs> and like every policy failure that yeah, they're guilty it's, of yeah it's christian every it's, stock it's, it's a bunch they're of invested in my rant contra scandal yeah. yeah yeah every stock like all of it that was an extremely based bill of Matt Gates and AOC to support oh the, yeah uh, it was wild bill against insider trading i love seeing that i love seeing the far left and the far right <laughs> come together 
to own politicians. Do you know I, what You know, I do appreciate it. <laughs> do you know what the bills call? AOC's called? insane and wrong. And yeah, uh, she's not wrong on this. But she's not wrong on this. Don't you dare I'll attack you my they'll, queen they'll when she's some, finally your correct. Queen, <laughs> your queen, your queen, your favorite. It's true. Behind queen the scenes, AOC. Th this is actually behind the scenes. Lauren gushes about AOC nonstop. It's called the Restoring Faith in Government Act. I like the name. Restoring my faith in AOC <laughs> act. Yeah, I think you're onto something with AOC. Like it, it, it's not I it's not time her. to demonize. Exactly. Like <laughs> if you really think she's Lex Luthor or has that kind of power to become Lex Luthor, we should engage in conversation now and get ahead of this and, and rather than just wait for some horrible populist uprising where we use the mob to dictate law and order. I think we need to psychologically manipulate her by whenever she does anything like really good. Super the red pill. The whole right wing need to just send her like so, super loving messages constantly and just be like, keep going, queen, keep going. And then she'll slowly like psychologically be like, oh, well, I'm getting a lot of support for this and just move further and further right and th and then until I've fixed her. And then everyone's going to keep criticizing her from the right when she does something bad and then it's just going to be psychological abuse no, where no, it's no. going to be like very brutal both but both ways it's going to be like insanely high praise and then really brutal criticism no, no, no. It what has you're to advocating be nice. for is, nice. is is a hardcore manipulation right yeah. now but like this the, is a narcissistic cycle wrong, of abuse when she does something with AOC wrong it has to be like that, we love you so much but i can't believe you've failed us here we're really disappointed <laughs> but we believe in you oh my gosh wouldn't it be awesome if political commentary was done that way thanks for watching this clip from the timcast irl podcast hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.